Welcome to another edition of Confessions of an Agriculture Teacher Educator. This is the Youth Development Edition. And, um, you know, the title of this episode is Tech Fail. Now the question is, is, was it a tech fail? I think I've reached my bucket full of Adobe Connect as trying to use it for uh, guest speakers. Uh, I'm actually having some meetings with some university level of Adobe Connect professionals. I look forward to pressing them on some issues to see if we can figure it out. But I have more problems than I have successes when I bring in guest speakers with Adobe Connect, especially like with audio loop or echo and problems there. I originally used Adobe Connect because I was uh, intrigued by um, being able to record an archive for students who could not attend. But I think I'm going to move to Google Hangout because I can also record toward and save directly to YouTube. And so that's something that we'll be looking forward to. But the question is, was it a tech fail? See, I, I believe that technology um, should be used only when it exponentially grows the potential learning, not to use for technology's sake. It's not about the tool. It's about the learning outcomes we're trying to achieve. I'm not afraid of technology, but whenever technology gets in the way of how we're productively using instructional time, uh, we have a problem. And so I have to challenge myself on how we're using it. And today I had some downtime because of a crash of a platform. But then I asked myself, was it a truly a tech fail? It was positive. We brought the coordinator of the National Chapter Award Program from Indianapolis all the way in to meet our students. We talk about a great idea that could help the profession of taking program of activities to Google Apps and Google Classroom, making it more digitally accessible. That was only because of synergy of talking and conversating in the moment about the issue. So was it a tech fail? I'm going to find the correct tool to do the job better to continue to have productive class sessions. In 311 today, we talked about the power of a program of activities to involve all students in developing their leadership potential, particularly the 21st century skills of collaboration, communication, critical thinking, and creativity. A POA of an effective committee structure does that. It is our vehicle to develop 21st century learners, and that's wonderful. Uh, we also talk about what intracurricular really means. A very great question from the students who came out and said, oh, you're not supposed to do committee work in class. Why? Well, because you're supposed to be teaching, but FFA is intracurricular. It's a part of your curriculum. It can't be the only thing you do, but it's absolutely appropriate to conduct in your class session as the leadership laboratory, just like that math teacher would do problems at the end of the math uh, chapter. We can have students work in committees in class for FFA activities as FFA is our leadership laboratory. So it was a great learning moment about how do we identify the sweet spot of the premier delivery system of education of where classroom, SAE, and FFA, um, FFA overlap for that unique point of total student success and development. So thank you for tuning in to another episode of Confessions of an Agriculture Teacher Educator. I hope that you uh, tune in again in the future uh, for other class sessions. Thank you.